Tiffany, thanks so much for joining me today on Athletes Unplugged. So glad you're here. Thank you so much for having me, Savannah. Excited to be here. Obviously, you're a, bit, a libero, so maybe you aren't as tall as some of my other Athletes Unplugged guests so far. I had Cassidy and Sharon a couple weeks, Sheridan a couple weeks ago, and we did, are you taller than this celebrity? Now, I will say, you're 5'11", so you're still taller than the average Joe, so I have a couple of celebrities for you to guess if you're taller than them. So it's okay. Daniel Radcliffe, Nicole Kidman, and Justin Timberlake. Okay, so I absolutely know for sure I'm taller than Daniel Radcliffe because I am such a Harry Potter geek and I've okay. watched like, all those movies. So I definitely know that he's on the shorter side. You know, singers always surprise me because like they're very gifted vocally, but they're not very tall. So I'm gonna say I'm, I'm taller than JT. Okay, and what do you think about Nicole Kidman? I think she's taller than me. I don't know. I just have this vibe that she is. Okay, so you got Daniel Radcliffe. You are taller than Harry Potter. Um, JT's got a couple inches on you. He's six. No one. way! How yeah, <laughs> he's six one. Wow. Okay, go JT. And you are the same height as Nicole Kidman. Wow. Maybe I have an acting career ahead of me. <laughs> I played high school volleyball, but that, that was the extent of my career. But I will say something that's always stuck with me is the idea of, okay, let's just win this set. Let's get to 25 first. Mm -hmm. And that's something we saw in softball season of the mentality that often you hear a lot in your youth of, okay, win this inning. Mm -hmm. And that mentality is going to come back again in your professional career, which is not something maybe we've thought about since, since playing youth sports. Yes. Yes. It, it's funny because Volleyball is like a lot more fun when you make like mini games out of it because I love competition and the more competition, the better for me. So if I'm like, all right, I'm going to win this set and then I'm going to win the next set and then I'm going to win the next set. Um, it just makes it more fun. You just more games, more opportunities to, to compete. So definitely. So I've got all my questions for you out of the way, but I do have some questions from your fans. Amanda Peterson, 75, asks, hardest part of your career so far and the thought and belief that you use to overcome it? It's a great question. Wow, that is a really, really great question. When I came to Wisconsin before, uh, so like when I was in high school, I was a pretty erratic player. Um, I, when I was frustrated, you would know. Uh, like everyone on the sideline would know. Um, I would kind of just shut down uh, and I was a very up and down player. I know we all know people like that. Um, and when I came to Wisconsin, uh, Kelly Sheffield made it very clear to me uh, that that would not be tolerated, that the Wisconsin libero needs to be someone who is a rock. And so there were a bunch of girls competing for that spot. We were pushing each other every day, but I kind of had to change my outlook on my game, uh, kind of change my, how I played almost and how I thought uh, to get that spot and kind of fit that mold. And I never really was that you know, positive, like, woohoo, volleyball person. But uh, at the end of my career at Wisconsin, I think I really did a great job of just taking that on and embracing it. Um, pretty consistent. I don't show my frustration. I don't wear my heart on my sleeve uh, when I play now. So that shift, uh, I guess, in mentality was definitely the hardest thing in my volleyball career. But I am so happy every day that I, I went through that adversity to do it just for the good of my teammates and I mean, we ended up making it to the national championship match. So uh, it paid off pretty well for us. So great question and great answer. Grace's camera roll on Instagram wants to know, how do you react so quickly? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I think it's just practice. Honestly, I've been playing the sport since I was 13. And, you know, you kind of just catch on to a lot of things. And I think reaction is one thing, but also it's reading. Um, understanding hitters tendencies and understanding what their body is doing and how you can kind of not guess but read what's going to happen uh, in the next play uh, and I think reaction you just can't be scared of the ball I mean I, I cannot say how many times I got hit in the face like really embarrassing moments like that uh, and you kind of just got to accept it and you know it'll happen with these like quick plays going back and forth but uh, I think that's a fantastic question that <laughs> I don't really have the answer to so <laughs> Thanks for answering all those fan questions. And thanks for the fans who submitted them. We always do these for our Athletes Unplugged guests. You can ask a pro any question that you want. Um, but Tiffany, thank you so much. I got all my questions in. We got our fan questions for you today. Thank you for joining me on Athletes Unplugged. And we will see you in action soon.
Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. It's been really fun. Thanks. See ya. <laughs>